Hey, what's up YouTube? My name's Cameron Doherty here with another tech video. Now Logitech makes some awesome electronics accessories, but now they also make this, the MX Travel Case. It's designed to hold your mouse and some small peripherals and we're gonna see, is it worth 20 bucks? Now let's take a look at the case. Now during the holidays, this was running as a free promotion with certain Logitech mice. Uh, so we did happen to get this one for free with the purchase of our MX Anywhere 3, uh, but otherwise this does cost $20. So we're gonna take a look and see if it's worth it and whether I would ever consider paying 20 bucks for it. So inside the packaging, we've got just uh, the bag itself and nothing else. Uh, it is made of felt. Uh, so the whole material is felt. It's got a Velcro, Velcro enclosure. Uh, so it opens up just like that, nice and easy. Uh, a pretty good secure seal, I would say. It's, you know, you, you pull it, you pull it tightly down and it aligns perfectly with the Velcro. And if you miss, there is a slight bit of catching on the material. That's one thing that I was definitely worried about is whether I would start to see like pilling and catches uh, based on the Velcro if you missed it. I don't think that's gonna be too big of a problem. I'm not seeing anything and it doesn't catch too much. And based on where this lines up, it's really easy actually to get to the Velcro enclosure. So no concerns there. Uh, a bit of a two-tone look to it. I kind of like the look overall with the gray and the black around the sides. Uh, it's nice and light, it's just felt. It is pretty thick felt, so it feels fairly rugged. Uh, and there's a little bit of structure to kind of the spine around here that gives it a little bit of protection of your devices. So uh, overall, I'd say it's pretty well made. Uh, it's very basic and yeah, let's see what we can fit inside. Uh, so inside we do have two comp uh, compartments here, one on either side, uh, kind of like a 60-40 split it looks like roughly. And then on the 40 side here on the smaller side that goes down to two smaller ones. So we'll say we got 60, 20, 20. That's, that's kind of what we're looking at compartment wise. Uh, so this is designed for the MX devices. We've got two of them here. So let's take a look at how they fit. Uh, so first is the bigger one, which I think was probably gonna have to go in the big slot. So this is the MX Master 3. I will link down in the description to my video about this. This is my absolute favorite mouse. Uh, so that fits basically perfectly. It seems exactly like what this was designed for. It's weird because it's kind of a, a odd shape, like the, the ergonomics of the mouse forces it to be, you know, you've got this big wing out the side. Uh, so that slides in there just right, you know, a little bit of wiggle around if you were to shake it, uh, but otherwise, you know, it's in there, it's in there nice and safe and snug. Uh, you could squeeze a couple little cables in there if you wanted to along with it, uh, but that definitely fits in there nice and snug and secure. Uh, the MX Anywhere 3, this was what the reason why we got this bag. They were running a promotion, purchase this, get this for free. Uh, so this is a much smaller mouse, so obviously it's gonna fit in. Uh, it's probably a little bit too small for the big compartment here. Let's see, in these smaller ones. Yeah, so that's pretty much perfect there. So that fits in, it's got the, the divider helps hold it in. It's pretty much the same on either side. Uh, in both cases, you know, it, it's held in there, but it'll fall out if you, you know, if you shake it. So I'd say overall, like that, that's a better fit in my mind uh, because it's got something actually pressing down to hold it than this one. This one falls right out. The other one's got a little bit of security. Uh, in terms of what else you can fit in here, I brought a few other components uh, just to see what else we could put in. So I've got an anchor charger here with my iPhone cable. And I would assume this would fit nicely in one of our smaller components, compartments rather. Yeah. So that fits in there nice and easy. We could still, I'm imagining fit the mouse in here. Yeah, so mouse and iPhone charger uh, fits nicely on that one side. We might have a laptop specific charger. This is another one from Anchor. I'm gonna link the video down in the description for these as well. So that fits in there loose, but it fits. And then we might have the cable to go along with that for a MacBook or something like it. This is a, a USB-C to USB-C cable that came with our MacBook Air. 
So if we give that a little squeeze, I could probably do a little bit better packing job, but there you have it. You know, we've got our, our mouse for working on a daily basis. We've got our iPhone charger to keep that charged. We've got a phone charger here, sorry, a um, MacBook charger here. So if that's kind of the setup that you're working with, you could easily fit it in there and maybe even a couple other small things as well. Uh, and yeah, that's kind of, you know, it's, there's some movement, but it's nothing's gonna get crazy damage. It's not gonna go, get all scratched up. The felt should keep it safe. Uh, overall, I think it's a pretty well-built product. There's nothing too you know, special about it. Is it worth 20 bucks? Yeah, it could be. Uh, if you like felt in particular, it's nice, obviously. I'm really curious, let me know down in the comments, is felt like a good sustainable product? Cause that would definitely up it in my book if that was the case. Um, let me know if anyone's got a good answer for it. I'll pin your comment. Uh, Cause I am curious and I don't know the answer to that of whether felt is something that's, that's kind of a high level of sustainability. Cause if so, I'd give props to Logitech. Otherwise, uh, not as much. But yeah, I, this is kind of solving a problem that I don't really have. I don't have a problem tossing my components in loose into smaller compartments in my bag. But if you've got just like a big purse or something like that, this might be useful because it can keep them together rather than having things jumble all around. And it could be a nice little way to keep yourself organized. So 20 bucks, would I buy it myself? Probably not, but are there people out there that would benefit from this? I think absolutely. So. Uh, there you have it. That's the Logitech MX Travel Case, a $20 bag from Logitech. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I'm curious if uh, this is something that you're interested in or whether you'll pass. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you enjoy what you see, remember that the likes are always free and the subs don't cost anything either. Thanks for joining me this time and I will see you on the next one.